Next up is just a cleansing pattern because I have all these stacks of miscellaneous potato chips I want to get rid of. So I'm going to put them in pairs. I don't care which way they face or what colors go together. And I'm just going to keep sewing them together in pairs until my pile is all done. So what I've come up with is another potato chip scrap buster. And what I've done is I paired up a bunch of medium volume. I'm trying not to go with the super high contrast with this one. So what this will entail are two blocks that are orientated this way. So you'll see that I've got a low volume going on an angle like this. And this is one, two, three, four five across and four down. And then the other one is the opposite and it's got it going this way. So I will quickly show you how to assemble one of these blocks and then we'll go through my design process of laying them out into a finished blanket. So first up is to do it in a series of four blocks. And because I've already paired these together, it's just assembling so that you have one in a horizontal against one group that's on the vertical. And this way, when it goes to matching seams, it's really easy because you have minimal nesting opportunities. Uh, so this will make it go together very quickly. So I've got horizontal, horizontal, vertical, vertical, and this is a set of four. So I'll go and join these up and then we'll add the next section. For pressing the seams, I like to go to one side and what I'm doing is I'm going to force it to go to the side where it's got a vertical seam. So by just finger pressing it like this, and then on this side, I'll do the same. So when I go to flip them together, you notice that I can nest the seams quite nicely like that. And I'm not even cutting the thread. It helps pull it together nicely for me. I will put a pin in here and then I'll sew it across. So this one is all done. So next up is going to be one that looks like this. So again, it's a set of four, a horizontal two, vertical, and then I've got a plain one, which is four and a half inches square, which will fit in here nicely once they're all joined together. This will be the lower left on the one big block that we're now doing. And then I'll be doing another one that has the same with the background in the lower right hand corner. I'm just showing you how I'm using a fabric that is darker on one side and I'm going to have the wrong side facing up just to give it more of a low volume feel. So I'll be putting that one together. And then to add to that, I will be putting one where it is the same orientation, but it just looks different. So I'm just pointing that out. It's actually the opposite of the one I just showed to you. So it will be with this low volume in the upper left hand corner. And once I've got those four sets sewn together, then I will join them so that we have four up and two across. So the eight blocks will then be joined together. So let me do that and I will show you what comes next. And the last section for this big block is to take the background and join it with another set of potato chips. And you're going to sew it here. And then you're going to take two more and you're going to join the, a horizontal set with the vertical and you'll sew it here. And then these will eventually end up being joined together as a strip like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll join you back here. I've just laid these into position to show you the pattern that's forming here. So as I've said, you're going to make two blocks that look like this, and then you will make two blocks where the, the background will be going in the other direction and ending here. Just as a side note, remember these are five across and four up when they're done. 
So let me finish this one and then I'll press it and then I'll show you some options for laying them out. Okay, so this is one of my ideas for a layout. I'm not really liking these checkerboards in the corner. So I'd probably change those and put something like that using my HST pile up. If I continue with the piano keys going around the edge, that's going to use up most of the solids that I have, but I'm okay with that. So let me know what you think. I'm just going to rearrange and show you something else I came up with, which I think I'm going to like a lot better. Hold on. So after playing around with different centers and color options, this is what I decided I'm going to go with on the tops and bottom i'm adding some more potato chips that have been sewn together and then i've cut up some extra squares in the center i played with black blue and you can't really see it in the camera but it's actually a scrappy brown that i decided would work the best with this so let me go ahead and sew this together as it sits without a bind binding or border sorry it's 44 inches square if you want to make it longer you could certainly increase the amount of rows in the center uh, you can also add a deeper border on the top and bottom there's so many options here this is going to end up being a charity wheelchair quilt so that's why i'm going with the size i'm going with so let me finish this up and i'll show you once it's all done Just showing you the center block, which is four HSTs that are two and a half inches. And I've joined them here and here. And then I will finger press them to one side and then right sides together. And again, if you plan it properly, you'll be able to nest them. And the secret again to getting nice points is to make sure your needle, when you're sewing along, does not go to the left of where the seams come together for the points. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes you go long and you have to dip in a little bit and then go back out just to make sure they're nice and sharp. So I'm gonna sew this up and then I'll show you the layout and then it'll be the final reveal. Okay, I'm ready to do the final assembly. And what I'm going to do is do it in sections. So bear with me if this gets shaky. So what I'll do is I'll add this to here and then I will join these together and then add it to those two. So that'll become one block. Then I will add this center piece to this one up here and then I will add this one to here, and then I will join them all together. So it shouldn't take too long, a few simple scenes, and then I'll all be done. Here it is, all complete and assembled. It does measure 44 by 44. If you'd like to make one yourself, let me know if you need a written pattern or whether the fabric requirements I'll add to the video will help you or not. So as always, so safely and so with to be. Until next time, have a great day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.